This video shows what the state tournament is all about. The players displaying their talent to not only the nearly 20,000 people in the stands, but also those watching live at home. You can see the emotion in the player's eyes, especially at the end of the video when the fans are chanting Jabby and he flashes his teammates patch to the camera. Jack Jablonski, also known as Jabby, was a player on the team who was checked from behind and fell headfirst into the boards during a game. Jabby severed his spinal cord and is now paralyzed. His team made an improbable run to the state tournament and ended up winning the state championship. The entire state came together to support not only Jack and his family, but also his teammates. As you could hear at the end of the video, the entire arena was chanting Jabby. They were not chanting BSM, who had just won the state championship, but rather a boy's name whose life had changed completely in the blink of an eye. That's what I found so special about the state hockey tournament. It's so much more than just teams competing for a state title. It's where a com community unlike any other comes together to watch hockey at its purest form. It always amazes me how the Minnesota State Tournament brings communities together. An unbelievable example of that was in 2012 when Benilde St. Margaret won the Minnesota State Tournament on the backs of dealing with a tremendous tragedy in their school community. That with the spinal cord injury of Jack Jablonski. At the end of the state tournament, when they won the tournament, the fans in the arena of 20,000 plus that evening were not chanting BSM, but they were chanting Jabby. How special was that for the state of hockey? And it truly states the importance of high school hockey in the state of Minnesota. Each year, almost 20,000 people attend the state championship game. 20,000 people come to watch high school players display their gifts on one of the biggest platforms in high school sports around the country. The state tournament showcases some of the most gifted players in the state. Some will go on to play college hockey, and some will even make it to the NHL. The book talks about ceremonial gift economies. The state tournament is like the ceremony, and the gifts are the players' talents. Gifts are the responsibility of being reciprocated, which is where the fans come in. Fans of all ages watch in awe as teenage boys display their gifts to a sold-out arena. Fans are engaging with each other as one student section chirps or trash talks another. The book talks about how money has a huge impact on our lives. It talks about how money is responsible for majority of violent crime, creates barriers between families, friends, and neighbors, and it is also the basis for individual and corporate empowerment. The high school level involves sports at one of its purest levels. There are no financial benefits in high school sports in Minnesota. They are not being paid as professional athletes are or given scholarships as they do in college sports. Yet more people attend the state championship game than people attend Minnesota Wild games on average and they have twice as many fans as the Minnesota Gophers' entire arena seats. I think watching the sport at the purest form is what makes the Minnesota State Tournament so great. The players are out there simply for the love of the game, and there are no other motives behind it.